In this video, we will review all the equations you need to answer circular motion questions. Circular motion includes uniform circular motion and non-uniform circular motion. Starting with uniform circular motion, we have an object that is moving in a circle with a constant speed. The object's circular motion will have a period, t, and t represents the time it takes to do one revolution. The object will also have an angular velocity, which is given the variable omega. And we can find the angular velocity using the equation omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t. And angular velocity has the units of radians per second. The object will also have a linear velocity. So in this case, v is equal to 2 pi r divided by t, where r is the radius of the circle. Or you can say that the linear velocity v is equal to omega times r. Linear velocity has the units of meters per second. Finally, the object will have a centripetal acceleration. The centripetal acceleration does not cause the object to speed up or slow down. It causes the object to change direction. The centripetal acceleration is always pointed towards the center of the circle. Centripetal acceleration can be calculated using the equation v squared divided by r or 4 pi squared times r divided by t squared. Or you can also use omega squared times r. The reason there are so many equations for centripetal acceleration is because I plugged in the different velocity values. And centripetal acceleration has the units of meters per second squared. Now let's look at non-uniform circular motion. In non-uniform circular motion, the object is moving in a circle, but they're either speeding up or slowing down. We can describe three different types of acceleration, angular acceleration, tangential acceleration, and centripetal acceleration. Angular acceleration is equal to the change in the angular velocity divided by the change in time. Tangential acceleration is perpendicular to the centripetal acceleration, and it is equal to the change in the linear velocity divided by the change in time. Or you can find the tangential acceleration using A is equal to the angular acceleration times the radius. When answering non-uniform circular motion questions, you can use these equations here, which are very similar to the kinematic equation. And finally, if you're asked to find the number of revolutions that the object turns when speeding up or slowing down, you can use this equation, which says that the number of revolutions is equal to the final angular position divided by 2 pi. And that's the end of this review of the equations you will need to answer circular motion questions. Mm -hmm.